these are what Dave and I are putting up here. These uh, steel trusses on a old garage foundation that is existing on his property. And um, so that's what we're going to do. We have Dave's track hoe and we're using that to lift the trusses up in the center of the span and then we position them over here where we have made marks in the foundation every 71 inches there will be one two three four five trusses and then on the sides and ceiling roof will be some flat steel to connect everything together and then it'll get a uh, tin roof steel roof so um, looks like this one here lined up with one of the foundation bolts which is good and that one over there did not line up with the foundation bolts so we'll be drilling that um, okay so Dave I guess Dave ran in to get something. So I am going to get the roto hammer and start drilling. So we are going to drill this with a half inch roto bit, an SDS with a Bosch roto hammer, and we're going to drill it at an angle this way so that we are trying to avoid hitting the rebar inside. to hammer and hammering. And you might explain why that went in at an angle. I did. It goes oh. in at a slight angle because we're trying to avoid hitting the rebar that is in the center of the wall. concrete anchors that we're using. You can see the sleeve here and this cone end. So you drive this into the hole and then when you start to tighten the nut down it pulls the shaft up. These teeth bite into the concrete. You see those little teeth on this uh, collar and down here you see this split here and here. 
this comes up and starts causing these to spread outward and the tighter you tighten the nut the more the cone comes up and jams the metal into the hole and creating a greater amount of grab so the tighter you go the tighter it holds it's a really good concrete anchor system okay so we are going to start screwing down the um, aluminum or sheet metal siding on this last uh, truss and then we'll put it up hopefully we'll be able to get it up okay because we have uh, some wind picking up and that sheet metal is going to act like a big sail so fortunately Dave's uh, Traco weighs more than what I think the forward force of the wind is going to create. Okay, let's get to it. Alrighty, we are starting to do the other side. Okay, Dave, you can think it's a pry bar if you want to, but the rest of it are going to call us call it a bent screwdriver. Okay, while Dave's messing with that, we're going to take a horse break. 
<clears throat> and we're going to lure horses over here real quick. Now you might say, how do you lure horses over to you, Jeff? Well, I'll show you. You come back here. To where they keep all this stuff. Horses really like this stuff. Okay. Okay, so we'll put some hay down and this should come running. Hey horse! Oh, oh, hey! I believe I can hang with you. Hi Bubba! Hi horse! The clamp, uh, it's over there. Oh, here's another one for you. Want some? Yeah, the boy. Is that good? Want some of that? Good horse. Yeah, the boy. We'll go get another piece for you guys. Late arrivals. So as you can see, given the choice, the horses really like the hay. But um, not too much, it's a treat. And there's Teo, the orange kitty who hangs out in here, but I don't see him anywhere. Where's Teo? Teo, hi Teo. Hi buddy. I haven't had an orange kitty fix all day. Oh, I haven't had an orange kitty fix. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy, Tio. Mm, yeah, he's a bit bigger than Archie. Oh, a little more skittish, too. Hey Dave, Dave, would you like some hay? Kind of a shy one. There you go. This horse, I guess, was abused, and um, it's thriving here. It's doing really, really well with all the other horses. Aren't these guys pretty? They're very happy on Dave's ranch. Horse breaks over. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, things are looking really good. Okay, here's what we're does that thing work at night pretty good? Oh, it's alright. Why don't we get I'll go get five apples and we'll feed those horses five apples and you can tape it. Oh, they like apples? Yeah, they do. 
Oh, hey, uh, that outlet at the bottom of the stairs, is that good voltage? I used it. Okay. <clears throat> I was just making sure that it wasn't one of those 240 specials. Oh, no. No, those are all gone. Okay. I, I used the last one. It was number 10 wire. Okay. Yeah, see, Dave had, uh, he bought this house and the person that owned it before him, or the farm, and the person that had it before him was notorious for wiring 120 volt outlets as 240 volt outlets. This is going to be big treats. Pears or apples? Pears? Pears. Do they like those? Oh, yeah. We're gonna have to cut that off. I don't. Mm -hmm. want, I don't want to feed it to them. You got a knife? I do not. Come on, lady. I don't think it's gonna take a good picture though. Can you get them? Well, it's dark. 